Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a first impression review of five perfumes that I got from the brand Zemaya, which I think is an offshoot of the brand Afnan. This is Andalusia Blue. I think it's called Blue because of the packaging, and there's another one in pink too. My mind kept telling me this was going to be redundant in my collection as it was giving blue fragrance vibes. Still, I went ahead and purchased it. It cost me 3,000 Naira. This perfume in a nutshell is Afnan's budget offering of Dior Sauvage. So if you already have Dior Sauvage, I think the EDT version, because I haven't actually smelled that perfume, the original perfume, what I have is like Modest Own, which everyone seems to think is like a very, very good clone of Dior Sauvage EDT. So if you have Dior Sauvage EDT, you might want to skip this perfume because that is exactly what it smells like. So like I said, I already have Afnan's Modest Own in my collection, which I got when the hype was real as it remains one of the most highly rated Dior Sauvage EDT clones out there. Modest Wound opens sweet, fresh, slightly spicy, citrusy and ambery. It gets woody and herbal in like 5 minutes, then soapy after like 45 minutes. The soapiness reminds me of Irish Spring. Throughout the lifetime of the perfume, that sweet, fresh, spicy citrus with some woodsiness stays pushing through and I get the same experience with Andalusia Blue. If you're not a fan of strong citrusy perfumes, you might want to skip Modest Own and just get this one because this, in my opinion, is like a lighter take on Dior Sauvage. Um, longevity for this perfume is it's quite good, 12 hours, but then again, projection is not really fantastic in the sense that I get like 1 to 2 hours from 1 feet. When I tested the perfume, I kind of like did like 3 sprays in my elbow area, that's how I test perfumes. So I got 1 to 2 hours of projection, longevity, 12 hours on skin, thereabouts. Meanwhile, Afnan, that is, sorry, Modest Own by Afnan, it's giving me like 12 hours of longevity on skin. And even at that 12th hour, you will still get whiffs of that perfume easily coming off your skin. That perfume, in my opinion, is a beast mode scent. It is very, very strong on the citrusy. That whole citrusy, ambery vibe stays true throughout the lifetime of the perfume. So, yeah, if you want something strong, get Modest Own. But then again, like I said, this cost me 3,000 Naira and Modesto right now, I think it's like 19,000 or 20,000 20, Naira, about, you know, it's quite pricey. So, yeah, just check that out. Up next is Andalusi Pink, which opens like a fresh, sweet, juicy floral, like something with berries, jasmine, tuberose and citrus and some creamy notes in the fire dry down. This perfume smells quite familiar, like something I already have in my collection, but I still cannot pinpoint what perfume that is. Um, but if I do in the future, I will let you guys know. Um, longevity for the perfume, like just like Andalusia Blue, is a good 12 hours, and I get one feet of projection for like 90 minutes to two hours thereabouts. I'm not a huge fan of the dry down. The dry down kind of like smells like a woman who is menstruating, so it's not really my thing, basically. So yeah, there's that. This is Zimaya Ala Rose. This is a creamy, sweet, dense, jammy cocktail with citrus, musk, and hints of baby powder with faint menthol co vibes. The dry down is green and floral. Zimaya Ala Rose reminds me of Kaeda Fusan's Unlimited, but it's like a sweeter, livelier take on that perfume. It is so, so good. Like, I really, really love this scent. This perfume is a beast. This is what, like, an extra de perfume, in my opinion, that like it should, you know, like, smell like an perform like it is so beastly this is one perfume that when you spray it on your clothing like when i spray it on my shirt it goes through my shirt goes through my inner shirt hits my skin and still projects off my skin up to the seventh hour easily without any issues whatsoever it's a beast if you really want to fill up a room with this perfume just over spray your clothing and <laughs> trust me it's like beast mode projectionizing throughout the entire day people will smell you wherever you go with this perfume it is beastly and it is so 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 good i love it if you don't like sweet scents you will not like this if i was given the option to test both perfumes before purchasing them i would definitely have gone with zimaya la rose because that shit is it's fantastic this is so so good like so so good the next one i have here is zimaya's musk is great and this is rumored to be like a good clone of initials musk therapy this is yet another beastly scent from zimaya that lives up to the extra de perfum tag it's a musky, sweet, mentholated green floral with plasticky amber that smells really, really expensive, especially after some hours have passed. Longevity on skin is 12 hours plus, and I keep getting whiffs of this perfume from one feet in the 11th hour. It is such a beast. The only reason why I got it up because it said extra de perfume, and I wanted yet another like extra de perfume in my collection. 
and this performs really, really, really well. I think I sprayed this perfume on my sweater. I oversprayed the perfume on my sweater like I usually did. Went to work. After 24 hours, that perfume was still like, I could still get whiffs of the perfume off my sweater. I went ahead to spray, um, I think it was Nadia Tributes, and that perfume on its own is also a beastly scent. Sprayed Nadia Tributes on that sweater. Went to work. Three hours later, I began to get like whiffs of this perfume, strong whiffs of this perfume instead, instead of that Nadia Tributes. That is how beastly this scent is. So if you're not if you're not a fan of like beast mode performing pe perfumes, you might want to go easy on the trader while trying this out. Also, I would not necessarily call this a blind buy. I would say test this perfume really before you get it because it might not be like up to your standard. That whole musky green mentholated vibe it gives might not be like something everyone would really really appreciate, but for me, it's good. I love it. Once it begins to dry down, it smells really, really expensive, like I said, and this, in my opinion, is a hit. Love, 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 love. So let's move on to the final fragrance which I have here, and this is my least favorite of the bunch. A very tragic perfume. This is Zimaya Fairy Tale. I got this because of the superb performance of Musk is Great and Alarose, but sadly, this was a huge, huge letdown. In here, I get some dusty patchouli, dark chocolate with some faint menthol, vetiver, and a bitter woodsy note. I hear it's meant to be inspired by um, Killian's Straight to Heaven, and I'm like, if this is what Killian's Straight to Heaven smells like, that perfume's an expensive mess. I'm sorry. This was just, this is just tragic, like really, really tragic. This perfume reminds me of Adal Zafaran by Wafa, like. They smell quite similar but the main difference in here is that wafa is a lot sweeter than this perfume it's like as if there's almost no sweetness to this perfume so if you love sweet perfumes i would say just go with wafa and skip this one do from what i had i had wafa is supposed to be like a dupe of killian's black phantom i don't know how good that is but to my nose right now both perfumes smell quite similar the only different thing that this just smells like not sweet at all and then again in the fire dry down there's something in this perfume that reminds me of the leaf that i use in thai ogiri ogiri in nigeria is like fermented locust beans tied in a what's it called dried and um, banana leaf that's what this thing smells like to me so i don't know whether it's tobacco leaf in here or maybe it's patchouli that's giving that whole vibe but it's not interesting at all thankfully you know ogiri can can be very 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 pungent but it is not that pungent but it gives that same vibe really so yeah that's what this perfume does and i'm not a huge fan of it longevity for the perfume is like 12 to 17 hours thereabouts on skin but projection is very very fucked up it's like 30 minutes to one hour and it is so so faint as in you need to really like focus to like get rid of the perfume even in that one hour so i don't know what why they call this perfume an, an, an extra they perform is just not giving what it's supposed to give. Maybe eventually it will start to perform better, but for now it's not performing at all. So in a nutshell, these are the five perfumes that I got from the brand Zimaya recently. And um, over the few, next few months, I'll be testing them to see if I notice any changes. If I do notice the changes to the perfume, let me to the smell, longevity, projection, or what have you, I would update um, that in the comment section down below. Don't forget to please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.